before we get into the video, I have a serious question for y'all. If any of you guys want to donate me some of your Wi-Fi, just take a chunk of it out and bring it to me. That'd be much appreciated. I got a really good sniper gameplay. Ended up winning free for all, quick scoping only. So that's pretty hype. But let's get right into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, it is considered an epidemic in our age by many, many experts. I say fuck that. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Freezy here bringing you another story time video. And today, we are talking about me getting my vape taken away at a Christian school. This is hella funny, so stay tuned. Let's get it. Keep in mind, this happened actually before my last video, the sexual harassment thing. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. I appreciate the support on that video. Uh, we're at like 75 plus views. That's awesome, guys. I appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. But anyways... I got my vape taken away at a Christian school. So I'm in foods class, right? I got my Von Earl. If you guys don't know what a Von Earl is, it's basically a jewel. Um, basically, it's the same exact thing, just different. You know, they have bit different brands. But anyways, shout out to Miss J, the teacher in the class. She is awesome. Literally the best teacher ever that I will ever have. Why she was teaching in this shithole, I have no idea. That's beside the point. Anyways. We're in foods class, right? I take a rip of this shit, right? Nobody is looking. I have my hand covering it like a normal fucking human being, okay? I'm trying to get buzzed as fuck because after this class, I got to go to Miss W's class, and that shit's fucking annoying. The English class there was way too goddamn hard. But anyways, so I take a rip, right? Don't hear a word. Nobody looks at me. Nobody's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, whoa, what the fuck? No way. You just did that? Oh, my God, you got balls the size of the King Kong. No, they... Nobody even saw it. I, um, well, obviously somebody saw it, but we'll get in that in just a second. Anyways, later that day, um, me and little Johnny, not mentioning his name, go into the bathroom, right? Get some rips, get some rips. Little Johnny's like, yo, let me hit that fucking shit for easy. So I was like, I right, broski, there you go, homie. So he takes a couple rips. He's like, yo, I don't feel it. I was like, yo, give me that shit. <sighs> yo, I definitely feel it. What the fuck's wrong with you? Hand that shit back over. Sorry, dude, I'm just not feeling it, Freezy, I'm just not feeling it. I was like, yo, stand up. That bitch threw up everywhere, literally everywhere. Okay, <laughs> got called out of school, got to go home that day, so I guess that's a perk of having one, I don't fucking know. But anyways, okay, so here's where the story gets gets really interesting. So I actually got this taken away by my parents um, prior to the story starting. So literally like two days after all the shit that I just said happened, I got this taken away, okay? Fast forward about a month, literally 30 days, okay, literally 30 days, I am vapeless, okay, I haven't vaped in 30 days, 30 plus days, alright, okay, so I'm hanging out with my friend Sid, I'm not going to tell his real name, obviously, but anyways, I was hanging out with Sid, right, Sid's parents found out that he had a vape, but he didn't want them to take it, so he gave it to me, I was like, yo, okay, I can hook you up with a little hiding spot, so I put that shit in my glove box, took off, you know, I was like, I got you, homie, but anyways, so I had Sid's vape in my car, empty, no batteries in it, literally nothing I can do with it, okay? Um, and It was a mag kit. I don't know if you guys know what a mag kit is, but it was a pistol grip vape um, for cloud chasers. I'm not a big fan of those. I like the high neck shit, but anyways. Um, okay, so somebody told on me and another girl in the, in the uh, junior or sophomore class, I can't remember what grade we were in, um, somebody told on me and her for vaping in the middle of class. Okay, so I go to lunch that day knowing that somebody told on us, but that like nobody's no principal has said anything to us yet. So I'm sitting at the lunch table with my friends and one of my friends was was my best friend and was also best friends with a girl that also got told on. So basically she was like we both of our best friends were getting in trouble for vaping in school so anyways my best friend and the other girl that got in trouble for vaping's best friend was talking to us and she said a name um that could have told on us it wasn't like confirmed or anything i was like whatever i'm not really worried about that right now i'm just remember fellas when i said that th i got i was vaping in school 30 plus days ago right 30 days ago okay and the other girl that got in trouble for vaping did it that day. Okay, so I had no idea how the fuck my name came up in this shit. 
but I was about to punch some bitches in the nose. Like, I was about to walk up to Dick and Manny and punch them both in the fucking face, literally for no reason besides the fact that this shit's retarded. Anyways, so I was like, okay, well... I vaped in school, yes, 30 plus days ago, so why is my name in the conversation now? Like, this is the same shit that girls do when they get raped, okay? Like, again, I'm against rape and shit, but if you get raped, you need to say something right then. You don't need to say it when that person gets big, you know, or something like that. Like, this is that same shit. Like, yo, if you saw me vaping in class, go tell me right now. Don't wait 30 days. So, like, in my mind, I was like, so did this bitch actually see me do it, or are they just pulling my name out of fucking thin air? Like, I was a little confused, but anyways. So, that bitch principal from my last video calls us in, both of us, um, separate times, obviously, checked our bags. Nothing was in either of our bags, okay? And then she calls both of us out of class to go check our cars. Alright, so... Here's my question to this girl, because I don't know if she's going to watch this shit or not, but you know who you are. Yo, where the fuck did you put your vape? Because I could have swore you did it that day that this was happening. So your hiding strats are good as fuck. But anyways, like I said, I had Sid's vape in my, in my glove box, and I said, yes, you can search my car. Fellows, right after I said that, it felt like somebody literally just reached inside me ripped out my heart and shit on it right in front of my face while I was still breathing. That's what I felt right when I said that because I knew I had it in my car, but I completely forgot about it because, like I said, I couldn't use it. There was no batteries in it. I didn't like those kind of vapes anyways. So I completely forgot about it. And then right when I said yes, I remembered that it was in my car because that's my fucking luck. But anyways, I was like, well, I can't say no now because if I say no now, it's going to be like, well, then he's definitely got some shit in my car. Anyways, we walk into my car, or we walk to my car, and she opens up the door, the back door, right? She's, like, pulling the thread up from my seats to see if there's a little piece of crack cocaine or some shit. And then she sticks both of her hands in between my, my fucking seats and spreads them out like it's a fucking ass cheek. Like, I, fellas, I was like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I'm not some... Bitch smuggling drugs across the fucking border. Jesus Christ. Like I said, this bitch is retarded. This should not be a principal or whatever the fuck she is. Anyways. Finally gets up to my glove box. She opens it. You already know what happens. <clears throat> of course, the shit's in there. She takes that shit. I was like, she's like, oh, well, this is interesting. I was like, yeah, fuck off. Let's just go to your office. Get this shit over with. We go up to her office. Um... <laughs> she goes, so this is your vape? And I said, no, it's not. It's my friend Sid's. And then she said, so it's your vape? And I said, no, it's not. It's my friend Sid's. Like, if you're going to ask me a question, I'll answer it. Stop asking it multiple fucking times, you moron. But anyways, she, uh, she goes, okay, well, it was in your possession, so you know that it's yours at this moment in time, right? I was like, Bitch, that does not make any sense, but what the fuck ever. Like, I'm, I've am i been in trouble at this place so many goddamn times, I don't even care at this point. Talking to you is like talking to a brick fucking wall. I literally might as well spin my fucking chair around and talk to the fucking picture you have of yourself on the wall. And that'd be a better conversation than talking to your dumb ass in real life. But anyways, she goes, all right, well, you're going to have to call your parents, and, and like, right now. And I, I grab my phone, call my parents, I was like, Yo, um, I got caught with a vape in my car, Dad. <laughs> and my dad goes, the fuck are you doing, son? Like, what are you doing? Like, he was so disappointed in me, and I felt so bad, because disappointing my parents is literally the worst feeling ever. But, anyway, so, that wraps up. I felt awful. Literally, like I said, somebody ripped in, grabbed my heart out. I was still breathing and still visible to see, and somebody just shit on my heart and contaminated it with their dung. Okay, so that shit all wraps up. And like I said, they searched this other girl's car too. We were pretty good friends at this time. And <laughs> I don't know where the fuck she put her shit, <laughs> but like they didn't find it. So I'm wondering, like these bitches literally pulled up threads and like spread my car seats like they were S cheeks. I wonder if they just walked in there, gave a good glance, was like, 
yep, you're good. Like, fucking shit. I don't even know, but... So, that's how I got my vape taken away at a Christian school. Uh, pretty fucking shitty. And everything I'm telling you guys is straight motherfucking facts. Keeping it 100 with y'all. Um, but, hey, some people want to give me a sh- give him a shout-out. So, shout-out to my boy Ashen. What's up, bro? Love you, homie. Shout-out to my boy Gabe. What's up, bro? Love you, homie. Shout-out to my boy Quinn. What's up, bro? Love you, homie. Love you guys to death, bro. But anyways, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. This has been your boy Freezy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.